you're thinking about opening up a deli in New Jersey or anywhere else, we got some uh, little bits of advice for you. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little vlog on our observations regarding delis in New Jersey. Um, we don't really eat at delis, but our family does, and after a while you get to see what makes one deli successful or one that you want to visit more often um, versus others that you, know, you just kind of meh, I don't really uh, care about it. But uh, one thing I think is important is you either have a deli that depending on the area that opens up for breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner. If you're thinking about opening up a deli that serves breakfast, lunch and dinner, you got a lot more work on your hands. It's probably a whole lot easier to screw up. But in terms of the basic deli, not an Italian deli, Italian delis are their own little um, beast. But if you're just going to have a regular deli with sandwiches, no particular theme like Jewish or Italian, just a general deli that has sandwiches and salads and well, a grill, you know, open up for breakfast and lunch and, and you should be okay. The key is though, and I think this is important, you got to open up early enough for the early risers, the contractors, the people that drive far away to uh, get to their destination. Opening up at 6 a.m. or before is a great idea. And also, if you're going to be open um, for breakfast and lunch, you should probably not close at like 1.30 or one. Stay open until 2.30 or 3 o'clock because there's a lot of people that have late lunches and they would appreciate your extended hours. Also, I, what I never understood whenever we used to eat out, I don't really eat out anymore, I cook all my food at home, but when they have a grill and they say breakfast ends at 11 a.m. or whatever, like it's really aggravating. They have a grill running all day long. There's no special equipment that gets shut down and Serve breakfast all day. You can throw an egg on the grill and clean it just like anything else, like putting cheese steak on the grill or whatever. The grill is on. Always serve breakfast. It's a dumb idea. I don't know where that ever came up and what the history is, but it's dumb. And this is probably um, one of the biggest keys. You got to hire and keep good staff. Friendly people, people that look you in the eye, people that are attentive. Um, it, it's truly important. It makes you feel good to go there when you have friendly people that you can interact with. If you have cold or people that turn their back on you all the time, don't look you in the eye or look like they just don't want to be there, get rid of them. Friendly people who, who treat the customer like gold because the customer is what makes those businesses stay open and have the ability to pay their employees. Also, another big key is remember your regulars. Remember their name. Greet them when they walk in. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Hey, how you doing today? Like, I'm sure that that thing, that kind of repertoire takes uh, a while to build, but it's important to do that because you will keep your customer for a long time if you treat them like they're part of your family. And another thing, and I keep going on another, 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 but consistency is key too. If you get a good, uh, whatever, roast beef sandwich one day and the other day it's not the same, you know, that your customer might now feel like a little uneasy next time they place an order. Always try to make everything the same and teach your employees that, you know, train them or if you're the one running, always do it the same way or better. Um, and lastly, cleanliness and orderliness is key. If, you're, if, a, if your store deli is sloppy or dirty, it shows. You got to care about the presentation. So that's all basic common sense stuff. But the good thing about running a deli is it's pretty easy because a lot of the foods are preserved, like deli meats and cheeses. You keep them in the fridge, they, they don't really go bad. That's a good thing. There's like the the destruction of overhead or the spoilage is really low in a deli, especially um, like I said, most of the things have preservatives and they stay refrigerated and they're good for at least a few days, sometimes a few weeks. Um, and, and the good thing is like with these potato salads and chicken salads, your distributor usually has them already made. So in the beginning at least you can serve, and they're the same at a lot of commercial delis. It's like the same made in some factory somewhere. So the key to this whole thing is execution, observation, pay attention, and that's it. So you want to run a deli? Those are some good starts. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next video.